Hey, how are you doing today? How's everything going? How's that job search going? How about that business opportunity that you're thinking about? How's that going? I know a lot of people, because I hear it in conversations, they hate their job. They hate what they're doing. They're looking for that perfect opportunity where they're gonna make tons of money or where they're gonna make such an impact. And I think that's great. I think that it is great that you have a vision and goals and you are set to achieve that. But the reality is, there are three hard truths I'm gonna tell you about making sure you find that perfect opportunity. The first thing, whether it's a business, whether it is you working for somebody else, you have to prove with results that you can get the job done. Every time you have to get better at it. So I, I don't think there is a perfect opportunity out there. Many times that perfect opportunity is right in front of us. We are just not giving all of it, all of us to it. I know and I believe that there is a thing called flow. When you're connected with God, things tend to flow and there might be some opportunities that are more aligned with who you are as a person, which I think that is great. But any career or anything you choose, there's gonna be parts where it's gonna be really hard and tough. Mother Teresa, Gandhi, Oprah, Richard Branson, Tony Robbins, everybody has had hard times, but they've been able to push through them. They've been able to focus on the grander vision. And it's the same thing with that perfect opportunity. The perfect opportunity doesn't come unless you will be perfectly committed to make sure that you're doing the best you can with what you have available to you. Tony Robbins calls it resourcefulness, being resourceful. Not having resources, but being resourceful with what you have. What are those gifts? What are those talents that you were given? How do you use them in the best way? How can you reach more people? How can you convert those gifts into a money-making opportunity, but where you're making an impact? The first key is always impact, and the money does come. It does come when you're committed to serving people and helping people. Same thing if you work for somebody else. You want to make more sales, let's say in your sales profession, you want to make more commissions, you have to find a way to reach more people and to help them. And if you can do that, then guess what? You're going to make a higher commission. So you, you have to want to do it because if you don't want to do it, you're going to generate mediocre results. That's the truth. And unless you can generate results, you cannot get a better opportunity. It all leads one thing to another. So let's say you have this job right now. Lately you have not been doing so well. What can you do? You can either drop the job or you can go look for another job. But if you go to look for another job, they're going to ask you, okay, what type of results did you generate? And if you can't give them a concrete answer, what do you think they're gonna say? No, most likely no. So do the best you can where you are at. And yes, keep your eye on going somewhere else, of course. The other key to that is resistance, persistence, determination, grit, doing it when it gets hard. Keep at it when it's difficult. You're focused on the grander vision. You're not focused on if somebody tells you the idea is not gonna work. You say, okay, thank you, I value your advice, but I'm going to do it anyway, or thank you, I really appreciate it, but I'm going to do it anyway, you know, in a respectful manner, in a kind manner. You just know that you're going to achieve the results no matter what. You know that you were called to achieve those results because God is with you and it's a gift that you want to give the world by doing better. Maybe you're doing this for your family. You want to let them know that, that you can push through. Whatever it is, it's all about the results, doing the best you can. And no, there are not any failures. That's what Thomas Alva Edison, did you fail? You know, you've done it 9,999 times. Isn't this a failure? No. I just found out 9,999 ways. It does not work. Same thing with you. If you're still not where you want to be, you just have found out ways it did not work. And you have to keep pushing forward so that you do find the way it does work. The second key to finding that perfect opportunity is about relationships. 
having great relationships. Whether you're starting a new business, growing one, or looking for a new opportunity, it's very important that you make positive deposits into other people. You never know when you might be interviewing for a job and the person that you were rude to is the person that you're interviewing with. You never know when that opportunity or business deal might be rested in the hands of somebody you did not get along with. I don't think you have to agree with what everyone does, but do your best to get along and to leave something positive where people can remember you in a good light, not in a negative light. We're all connected. Word gets around. People talk about you behind your back. Yes, they do. What you have been doing. Oh, did you, you know, this person? Oh, that person. Yeah, she's horrible or he's horrible. So, you know, just give the best impression you can. Be authentic to yourself. That's, that's what I say. And that will open a lot of doors for you and more opportunities. And the third and last thing that's important is to keep developing yourself. Keep training, okay? When I used to be in banking, I remember, and I received such great advice, but I always kept asking, like, what kind of books do you read? What, what information do you, do you look into? I don't read any books. I, I, I know, for a fact, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, from what I heard in an interview, they read hours a day of material. They're constantly preparing their minds. So you need to continue to develop yourself. There's just no excuse. There's a lot of free trainings on YouTube prepared from some very talented people. Gary Vaynerchuk, you have Ty Lopez. There, there's just so many amazing people. Marie Forleo that provide free content. This video is free and you're, you're training your mind. So that's a good sign. Uh, and there are paid content too. There's paid trainings too. You also have to invest financially. It really shows that you're committed to yourself can't be free and cheap because then that's what you're going to get right in most cases okay so what do you mean by investing yourself it could be maybe some audiobooks get a membership to audible.com i love listening to those in the car um get some books uh, buy a course whatever whatever it takes but you need to continue to develop yourself okay so you can keep advancing and combined with that point of continuing to develop yourself is to continue to enjoy enjoy life because it's a positive energy that attracts opportunities to you it's your positive energy that attracts better relationships and it's that positive energy that is going to give you your next promotion your next business deal so make sure you stay focused on these three principles it's all about the results the relationships that you're having make sure they're positive ones and lastly continue to develop yourself and enjoy the ride. Thank you for connecting today and I hope you have a fantastic week. Before you leave this episode, make sure that you share it and like it. Stay connected here on social media. It's an honor to serve you and I will see you next time. Tanya Flores from Positive Impact Academy. Take care. Wishing you success.